Hello, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I bought while on my trip to Barcelona back in April. It's been kind of a while now, but I'm catching up and doing all my videos now. If you watched my last couple of vlogs, you may have seen what stores I went to while I was in Barcelona. And today I'm gonna show you what I bought how much I bought it for, how much it's worth in US dollars, and basically how much I saved by purchasing in Europe versus purchasing in the US. As a heads up, my nails are not matching right now. I did one hand and then I got too lazy to do the other one. So if you notice that at all, I'm just gonna call it out because... So the first purchase that I made while I was in Barcelona was at Van Cleef. The bag is a little bit beat up just because I had to travel back with it. This I knew going to Spain that I was going to purchase. If you watched my wishlist video, I had talked about wanting to make a purchase out there. I was able to contact an SA and make an appointment and I had it all set up. I already talked to them about what I wanted to buy so they had things ready for me and it was just a great experience. My essay while I was there initially was supposed to be Anna Rita, but I ended up coming in on a day that she wasn't working. So Hernan helped me out and he was super nice and super helpful and let me look at every single piece that I wanted to see. And I did go on this trip with my friends who don't know too much about Van Cleef and he was like educating us on the different pieces and how to care for them and how they're made and all that. So we had a really good time diving into it. As you can see, I got the vintage Alhambra mother of pearl necklace and I don't wanna take it off right now. So this is what it looks like. This one has a little bit of a pink undertone to it. The way it shines is just really pretty. And even though I have the necklace on, we can go through what the packaging looked like when I bought this. Here is the little box. Open it up. And then I got a travel pouch. They didn't have any boxes available for me while I was there, which was unfortunate, but I know the travel pouches are pretty hard to get nowadays. So keep it in here. While I was at Van Cleef, my mom also wanted something. So we have a bigger box here. And my mom wanted a vintage Alhambra five motif mother of pearl. And luckily they had it in stock. This is the travel pouch that it is held in. You have the little Van Cleef on the inside here. When you take it out, it's just so stunning. Super pretty. This is both my mom and my first Van Cleef piece. And I think the mother of pearl was the way to go. So let's talk about pricing for these items now. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, I was in Spain back in April. Right now I'm posting this video around like August. So prices may not be the same. I'm pretty sure Van Cleef had a price increase like right after I made this purchase. So prices that I calculated are based on when I was there and what it was priced at at the time because I made these calculations like shortly after my trip. And for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna total up both of these purchases from Van Cleef, just because that's what's on the receipt and it was easier for me to calculate in this way. The total price for these two pieces in the States at the time that I purchased this was 6,950 US dollars. The total price in euros at the time that I purchased this was 7,530 euros. And when you convert those euros to US dollars, the total that I paid was $8,170.05. There's also a VAT refund that you get when you're purchasing in Europe because tax is already included in the totals. So if you're not from Europe, you can get a refund that you have to file for. The refund that I got for this purchase was $1,324.13. And when I subtract the total that I paid in US dollars with the refund amount that I got, the total that I paid for these two items in US dollars is $6,845.92. So basically the total that I saved by purchasing in Europe was $104, which is not very much, but it is a little something. Some of these other items that I'm gonna show and that I showed in my last video when I bought stuff in Europe a couple of years ago, I saved a lot of money on, but Van Cleef and Cartier I know for sure price themselves so that you don't save too much when you buy their pieces from a different place in the world. The next purchase that I made, I also talked about this in my wish list for this year, and that is 
a bag from Celine. I actually went in thinking that I would just buy the sunglasses that I talked about. I will put a picture of them here, but I went in wanting to only buy the sunglasses. I got there, I put them on, and then I looked ridiculous in them. I'll also put a picture here for you to see, but I did not like how they looked on me. And they also didn't have the color I wanted. They only had silver in stock because they're like a really hot style right now. That didn't end up working out. And the essay that helped us there was just so nice. His name is Mark. I'll put a picture of him here as well. 10 out of 10 recommend. He was so helpful. I tried on so many bags. I literally just tried on everything and he was super helpful, super nice. But anyways, what I got was a bag. And if you saw my luxury wish list video, I've been eyeing this bag for a while and I need to stop buying bags after this one. So this is the Teen Triumph in the pebble color. And I kept the hardware protector on just because I'm paranoid. I knew I wanted this one because I am on the shorter side. I'm 5'2". So this teen size is just better fit for my height and I tried on the regular size and Mark had mentioned that it was only 200 euros more so like if you want more bang for your buck to get the bigger one but I put it on and I feel like it was just too big for me it looked kind of ridiculous and I feel like this one just looked a lot better on so I ended up getting her I don't have any gray bags in my collection all I have are like black bags I have a lot of black bags I have a white one I like browns, so like this gray color, I feel like it's hard to find. And I really love this one. This is what she looks like. We're not gonna go into too much depth with the bag itself, just because we're talking about the prices in this video. I will do a more in-depth video about her in the future. Now, diving in to the pricing of this, I am not sure if Celine has had a price increase since I was there in April, but again, these numbers are based off of the price back in April. This bag in US dollars at the time that I purchased it was 3,950 US dollars. And when I purchased it in Europe, it was 3,200 euros. When that converted to US dollars, what I actually paid for in US dollars for this bag was 3,400 and 72 US dollars. The refund that I got for it was $480.27. So the actual total that I paid for this bag was $2,900. $91.73. So the savings that I got by buying this in Europe versus buying it in the States was $958.27, which honestly is a pretty big steal. So I'm glad I bought it in Europe and not in the US. So that was supposed to be the last of my purchases, but my mom wanted me to check out Fendi because she had been eyeing the mini baguette and I am not too familiar with Fendi, so I walked in there. I just didn't know anything. So we walked in, we had a great essay, and we were also in a rush to like do other things and like shop at other places. So like my friends and I did a really quick pit stop there and it was very productive. And our essay, I think his name was Guillaume. I'm not entirely sure. I'll also put a photo of him here because he was just a great essay too. I walked in and I told him what my mom was looking for. And again, I just don't know anything about Fendi. So I didn't know what the bag looked like or anything. And he immediately showed me what it was. And then I got on FaceTime with my mom and then him and her were like chit chatting. He answered all of her questions very quickly. He was super funny and just like super nice. But what my mom ended up getting, the mini baguettes in white. And she's so cute. She also ended up getting this neutral strap. And Guillaume was very helpful with finding this too because she described it and he immediately knew. Here is the mini baguette. It actually comes with this strap, just a chain one. Diving into the numbers, this bag, if you were to purchase it in the United States, was 3,310 US dollars. The price in Europe for this bag at the time that I purchased this was 2,570 euros. What I actually paid in US dollars for this bag was $2,788.45. The VAT refund that I got for this bag was $375.14. The total that I paid minus the VAT refund was $2,413.31. The total savings was $896.69. And I forgot to add at the beginning of this, but that's the total for both the bag and the strap. 
Again, for simplicity's sake, I just combined the numbers together. So that sums up everything that I bought while I was in Europe and all the savings because I don't know, it's like not savings, but it is. If you're thinking of buying these things in the US and you have a trip coming up to Europe, it is smart to wait sometimes. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Again, thank you for watching today and I hope to see you in the next one.